So glad to have all of Wakanda Nation here excited. This is a great day. It's a new day. It's a fresh day. And you ought to be excited about it. Uh, your excitement will bleed over into others. So here's the day. The day is Wednesday. It's the day we huddle up with our coach, Dan Johnson. Listen, get your pen, get your paper, get ready to be informed, get ready to be inspired, get ready to be motivated, get ready to get some instructions because we are all going somewhere and we're going to a place higher than where we are. And this is the man who helps us get there with all of the information, all of the skills that he has. It's amazing how blessed we are to have him to be a part of Wakanda Nation and our corporate team, because he brings not only his excellence, not only his experience, but his anointing. So I want to get out the way and let you get ready to glean from Coach Jan, Dan Johnson, our VP of training and development coach dan are you out there absolutely what's happening coach ross how you doing doctor okay. awesome awesome so thank you so much for that warm and wonderful introduction y'all know i'm just coach dan i i like to be a part of the community and just participate and and watch all of you that have put your hands to the plow and refuse to look back um ultimately grow i know that there are some questions out there and dr Roz, i'm going to be leaning on you today um i'm not going to do too much training as much as i am going to be informing i'm giving you some insight as to where we are as it pertains to our for those of you that have been that are participating or that's inquired about march madness as you know at the at the hills or right at the beginning of us um, moving forward with March Madness, um, Phyllis' sister transitioned, and of course um, her funeral her, her sister's funeral is next week, and so that through her and of course everyone that loves Phyllis in the world span, thus us not having the Sunday night call, but also um, as a result of that. At the point that the transition took place, um, we did not have all of the rosters in, nor did we have all of the funds in. And so those of you, those leaders that are on, that have made the commitment and said you're ready to go, um, really it's hard to kick it off without having that information. And so that information was going directly to Phyllis um, initially, but again we don't want to bother her we want her to have this space we want her to have this time and so i'm going to ask that everyone that um, all of the leaders that has um, that plans on participating in march madness submit your roster um, to dr ross for me is that okay dr ross absolutely absolutely thank you i figured she'd say yes Submit your your roster to Dr. Ross. Submit it to Dr. Ross. And when you submit it to Dr. Ross, just confirm whether or not um, everyone on your roster has participated. And that's for the teams as well as the individuals. Um, confirm whether or not they have paid that are going to participate. Um, we need to do that so that we can kick this thing off in a great, great way. Um, that will push us till this coming Friday, uh, I mean, this coming Sunday to have our kickoff call. Um, and so Dr. Roz, I will send you the adjusted schedule for March Madness. Um, we will extend it um, a week going into April. We're still, we'll still be able to track everyone's productivity based on the timelines that we originally set everything else is the same but we want to make certain that we um do it decently do it in order and make certain that we have everyone locked in and give our cso who's really you know um i had to tell her yesterday she was supposed to jump on a call and i said don't worry about jumping on the call i didn't send you the information because i didn't want you um to worry about those things 
So she needs our help in just being able to take this time to um, mourn the loss of her sister, um, prepare for her celebration of life as her sister transitions into eternity, um, which she's already done. Um, so we, we want to just make certain we give her space for that. And by us making everything happen after this coming Tuesday, which is when she will um, eulogize her sister and and um, put lay her to rest, then on that Sunday, I'm certain at that point, she in some shape, form, or fashion is going to want to be a, part, a participant in getting back in the saddle as we as we move to our um, our annual conference in Las Vegas, which I am extremely, extremely, extremely excited about. And so with that being said, you guys, um, I know there has been some for some, there's been a little bit of apprehension for others, you are ready to go. I just, again, want to encourage you about the essence of March Madness. The essence of March Madness is the essence of momentum. Um, it literally is designed to create a certain level of momentum for your business. And what that will do, that will carry us into the next level of momentum, which is our conference in Las Vegas. That's point one. As you begin the activities and you focus in on, on building your business and you're in the competition and you're being paid cash to win, it gives you a certain level of energy. It gives you a certain level of energy that creates that momentum. The second thing that it will do is that it will build, it will build, listen to this now, leaders, and you will begin to see new leaders emerge. For those of you that are high level leaders, your emeralds, your diamonds, um, those of you that are rubies, this is the time where you really allow your team to get in, and your leaders to get in the fire and you help them to become leaders. Where, where by the time we get to this time next year, they, they, they have gotten to where you are and you've gotten to another level, utilizing as many people did last year, um, March Madness as a springboard to actually get it done. And here's the thing. We, I was going to share this with you on Sunday night. Yes, we will have a championship team. Yes, we will have a Final Four. Yes, we will um, have, have an Elite Eight. We will have those things, right? But, but, but in March Madness with Wakana, there are no losers. So even if you are eliminated from the main competition, it's important to know that everybody that was enrolled in March Madness will still have an opportunity to win and earn cash. And, and, and so, so that's cash and what kind of bucks. That is very, very important to know. We have what we call a redemption round. And that redemption round says, hey, yes, you were eliminated from the main competition, but there is another bracket that you'll be able to participate in and as you continue to build your business you will continue to be rewarded the money is still on the table also also um that is for individuals as well as team uh, as well as for teams that was eliminated from the main round then guess what you guys there's going to be cash for everybody that is enrolled in March Madness. There is cash for ranking up. That's right. So you get involved in March Madness and you're working and building your business. Yep, you may have gotten eliminated, but in the process of building your business, you ranked up. And every time you rank up, you cash up. <laughs> are y'all seeing that? Every time you rank up, you cash up as long as you are a participant in March Madness. So I need you to understand that March Madness is designed to get, get you momentum to develop, um, to build your business, to develop leaders, and to bring in cash. Whether you're eliminated or not, everybody that, that, that 
that participate in March Madness and actually put in some work will be winners. Because with Wakana, all we do is win, 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 no matter what. And we want to make certain that you are in a position to win. We want to make certain that you're in a position to win. And so, listen, I'm going to tell you something. In your process, there will be there will be some that's afraid. There's there's going to be some that will say, I'm not ready yet. There will be some that will tell you maybe not to do it this time. The reality of the situation is, I tell you all all the time, um, when, do you, when are you ready to get paid? You're ready to get paid right now. I'll give you a quick story as I bring this to a close. I had a client who asked me who has an organization, and they were getting ready to do and they, they're doing a fundraiser. And so the client brought me on to put together um, the fundraiser for, for their, their organization. And so we put all of the bells and whistles into this fundraiser or whatever the case was. And he had, he has a, a group of people that is willing to almost do whatever he asks to do. Now, I want you to listen to this now. He has a network of low-hanging fruit that believes in the organization and what the organization stands for. And so here is where we are. So we, we get into, we put this fundraiser together, but he has not been paid in his organization for two years. He, he comes out of his pocket every year to pay money out of his pocket in order for his organization to flourish. We put, in to get, we put together a program that a fundraising program that would allow him to get paid, him to pay a stipend to his volunteers, offer three scholarships to participants, and give cash back to the parents. So he says, I need you to come on the call. I need you to lay this thing out. We got on the call. We laid it out. There was excitement. And then here is what happened. People were asking legitimate questions. Now, I would have rather he defer to back to the expert that he hired to actually produce this for him. Instead, he began to answer. And he went from, he changed his model three times in the conversation because he was trying to accommodate not anyone that gave pushback, but he was trying to accommodate everyone in their question. So what what, what would have started out as everyone had a goal, small goal, each participant of raising $1,000 in the next 21 days. And as a result, all of those things I mentioned would have been taken care of. When people started to ask questions about will gym shoes be included and just different things like that, he just started saying yes. Then one one person said, well, if we exceed our goal, does that stay within our within our organization? He said yes. And then another one said, well, I thought we if we exceeded the goal, we'll use the surplus funds to take care of somebody that didn't do well in raising theirs. You see what I'm saying? And then he said yes. And so he started twisting and turning. And before you knew it, he had put himself back to square one where he'll have a small little over over uh, overage from the fundraiser, but it will not have accomplished what the goal was. What I want you to do as leaders, there are moments in your leadership where you're going to have to stick to it and stick with it. And you cannot be swayed by questions. You cannot be swayed by resistance. It's all part of leadership. And you have to keep your mind set on the goal. And some people, guess what? As leaders, you got to know when to walk away. You got to know when to walk away. So as you move into this um, 
for those of you that's going to participate, for those of you that's been on the fence of participating, uh, listen, I encourage you, make the decision based on what your goals are for success in your business. And I am telling you, as Coach Dan, I am telling you that to decide to participate is a decision that will help to propel you from where you are to where you desire to be. How do I know? Because we've been talking about testimonies after testimonies after testimonies where this time last year, it was a springboard for their success. And so I'm going to, I, I am 60 seconds over time. I am going to stop right here. Again, um, Dr. Ross, those of you that, Dr. Ross, those that are on the list that we have, can you please send out something to them requesting that they receive, um, that you receive their rosters so that we'll know where we are. Get back with me so that we can put this thing together and we will be ready for this upcoming Sunday um, night at 7.30 p.m. to do our kickoff. Listen, I want y'all to know, Coach Dan, love y'all. I love y'all abso absolutely, for real, for real. I care about your success. I want to see you all at the top, the very top, the Tiffany tip top, and I know you're going to be there because you're that kind of group of people. Until next time, as always, prosper. Hey, and Coach Dan? If everybody could send that to Dr. Roz at Wakana.com. That's D-R-R-O-Z at Wakana.com. All right. Have a great day, everybody.